today today i'm going to show you how to make lentils indian style and what i'm cooking today i'm cooking yellow lentils which, which are called mong dal and what i've done with these lentils i've soaked them overnight so i'm using 250 grams of lentils which i soaked overnight in water but first what we have to do we have to heat the oil I'm using a very healthy oil, however, any vegetarian oil will do, sunflower oil or vegetarian. Try not to use olive oil because it doesn't taste very nice. So a little bit of olive oil, uh, oil and just warm it up. I'm used to saying olive oil because I'm used to actually using olive oil most of the times, but not with Indian cooking. So the gas goes in, on, just warm it up first and then we can add mustard seeds. So I've got all my ingredients ready here. What I'm going to use, I've got two tomatoes, which I chopped very finely. I've got fresh ginger, garlic, and one green chili with seeds also. And the essential part is the spices. So I've got a little tin here with all the spices, which I'm going to use. So today we're going to use mustard seeds. We're also going to use uh, coriander powder, turmeric, and red chili powder. Right, so this recipe I got it from my friend, uh, from Lina. So thank you very much. So if anything goes wrong, blame her, not me, because I'm doing this first time. So, make sure the oil is nice and hot. And now we're going to add one spoon of mustard seeds. When I say one spoon, I'm using very tiny spoon for my spices. So one spoon of mustard seeds is just like that. And they will be popping, so just be careful. Make sure they have, they have to pop before we add any extra ingredients. You can hear them popping and you can actually smell them. So let them pop for a few seconds and then we can add fresh chili, garlic and ginger. I have reduced the heat slightly and now because they've popped already, I'm going to add the fresh ingredients. When you're coating the fresh ingredients like chili, be careful because you don't want to touch yourself after with, with the fingers. So you can see it's popping. I should speak to be careful because it's hot oil. Ow. I got it on my arm, look. <laughs> Mustard seeds. <laughs> right, so reduce the heat, you don't want it to brown too much. Or at all actually. Take it from the heat. Take it off from the heat and add the ingredients. That's better. Because it's so hot. All together now we will add the spices so what I will do I will add a half of the spoon of turmeric powder half is sufficient only like that half of the spoon of chili powder and two spoons of coriander powder it smells so strong one Two full spoons. Oh, very strong smell. So you can see it's not on the heat at the moment. So I'm just mixing all together all the ingredients. We're making it into like little paste. It looks like this at the moment. It's lovely brown. I think I should remove from the oil before I added fresh ingredients, but it's okay. We're good. So now I'm adding two tomatoes with all the water. And you can see here it's still cooking, even though it's not on the heat. It's not on the actually on the hop. Can you see it? But now I'm put on the hop. And I need to make sure that my, my tomatoes are cooked through before I start adding the rest. I'm going to add a little bit of salt now. And what I'm using, I'm using pink Himalayan salt. And only a little bit, just for the taste, so I'm using this much. And continue cooking tomatoes. 
I am happy with my tomatoes now. They're not fully cooked, but almost cooked. So what I will do next, I'm going to add the lentils itself. So I will add lentils first. It really smells delicious. It's my first time, first attempt of cooking Indian lentils this time. So let's hope it will work out. I'm sure it will. So I will just stir this together on tomatoes. And all the spices and lentils. And now what I will do, I'm going to add water to it. So how much water do we add? So basically we just have to cover it, cover all the lentils. So what I've got here, I've got boiling water and I will just add just to cover the lentils. That should be sufficient. I'm going to bring it to boil now and then simmer for half an hour but I will be checking because you don't want the water to evaporate completely so make sure you bring it to boil first then put a lid on and simmer for half an hour it's boiling now so I'm putting the lid on and the timer for half an hour there we go Boom. Perfect, but in between make sure you go and check it and just stir it and if you need to add any more extra water do it You can see that the water has reduced a lot now But when I tasted it, it's still very al dente, so I need to boil for a bit longer So it's been approximately 20 minutes now, so another 10 minutes or so I am really happy with my consistency of the lentils. Have a look not too thin, they're just perfect, really, really lovely. And I have just tasted it, and it tastes amazing, very, very tender. So, I've cooked them for approximately 40 minutes. Half an hour wasn't sufficient, they were still al dente. So, if you like my video, make sure you click the button and make sure you like it. Comment on it and tell me, maybe I can cook something else. Maybe I can cook something different, so maybe you can give me some tips. And the most important thing, remember to subscribe!